In this video, we are color matching some hand tied jigs sent to us by our friend Joe over at Bait and Tackle using our rendition of the Bama Craw colorway. And as a result, we stumble across an amazing green to orange changeable color. Yeah, this is all coming up in one video. You're not going to want to miss this one. Let's go! What's going on all my fellow bait chuckers out there? My name is Michael. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video today. We have a great one mixing up our rendition of the Bama Craw. Super excited about this because we also have an unboxing. That's right. I figured I would start off today's video with a little unboxing. We got a gift sent to us from our friend over at, whoop. That's right, Bait and Tackle. Joe over at Bait and Tackle reached out. He hit me up on Instagram one day. It was like, hey man, uh, what kind of jigs do you like to throw? I told him, well, we have a lot of rock line banks here at the Delta, lots of levees, and uh, you know, football jig is kind of my jam. And he's like, great. And out of the blue, this package just shows up. And might I say, the swag pack right out of the box is like, awesome i mean we got coasters in here hat pins stickers yeah did yourself thank you joe you got a little something coming your way too don't you worry now check out these jigs these are some amazing football jigs here and we'll take these out of the package but look at this first off right out of the gate look at this like crawdad color here this blue and green pumpkin let's take this out of the package look at that huh Beautiful, like grit, sandy, light green pumpkin with blue. Beautiful. I, I mean, these feel like they're half ounce. Nice stout hook on there. Oh, yeah. Perfect for some nice jig trailers. So the tan blue, kind of a blue craw, I guess you could say. Awesome, awesome. Next up, what do we have? Oh, the good old fire craw. Oof, nice fire crawl there. Let's take this one out of the package too. This one has that nice, super bright, I call it methylate orange. It, it's like a safety orange almost, very bright, very, very vibrant, paired up with that red and black there. This is an awesome color for right now in the springtime as the crawdads are molting. Boy, fire crawl, definitely a good color for spring, no matter what the bait is. So we're definitely going to have some good trailers for this as well. Next up, an absolute staple here on the Delta is the black and red. Can never go wrong. Like I said, it is a crawdad fishery here, and black and red is the jam out here on the Delta. And look at that. That is a beautiful I mean, just a perfect amount of black and red. The uh, the shimmer that the red gives off on the black strands is awesome. I don't know what type of material it is, but these colors are all extremely vibrant. And I'm sure Joe has all that information because he has all videos on how to make these jigs over on his channel. So again, link down below in the description. I'll also put a link in the upper right hand corner of the screen so you can easily hop over to Joe's channel. And last but not least is the crawl that we're going to be color matching today. Now, of course, I dug into this box a little early and that is the Bama Craw. Awesome color. Really love the Bama Craw. And you can see we've already got the trailer color matched on there. The trailer you're looking at right now, this is the four inch flap and drax trailer by Epic Bait Molds. And here it is in a five inch flap and drax as well. You can see the flap and drax, a perfect crawdad imitation to pair up with these jigs. Bama Craw is an amazing color, should do very well at the Delta. So uh, yeah, we're about to whip up another batch of Flap and Drax for Joe. So these ones are coming your way, Joe, and we have an amazing color, and that is our rendition of the Bama Craw, something I like to call blazing Bama Craw. So on the belly of this color, it's a very bright neon orange. Blaze orange to be exact. Really cool color with some added sparkle in there for effect. And then on the back of the craw, we have a very dark green pumpkin. And this is actually the same green pumpkin that we use in our moon juice recipe. If you're not familiar with that video on how to make moon juice, I'll put a link to that in the upper right hand corner for you as well. We put our little spin on the Bama Craw, so we're calling it Blazing Bama Craw. And that's what we're gonna be whipping up today. It looks fantastic. Fantastic 
in the flap and drax obviously this is what the mold that we're featuring in today's video but this color also looks amazing in a multitude of other baits as well the epic whip wad which i held up earlier again that color transferring all the way through the tail i always say the tail is the star of the show on the epic whip wad but it looks fantastic it also looks amazing in the 5.6 inch epic prey bait absolutely amazing color as well it's it's a great you know panfish imitator if you will uh, i know it's meant to be for crawdads but this orange belly especially in the springtime right now really tends to set off the bass so you know i had to shoot it in the five inch epic jerk bait and yeah it looks amazing in the jerk bait as well and then when we were all done with our testing turns out if you just take the sprue colors because you're gonna have a lot of sprues that are half green half orange you just mesh all your sprue colors together and it meshes into an amazing green to orange changeable. It, it's almost like a, a motor oil of some kind, but it is a green pumpkin green. And when the light passes through it, it is a blazing neon orange. In the sunlight, this is amazing. From when angle hits it on the front, it looks green. But then when light passes through it, it's orange. It just blends and shifts just like a regular changeable wood. Here it is in the whip wad. And again, in the belly of the whip wad, you can see it just changing over from green to orange. It's, it's incredible. So with this recipe, we're really getting two colors in one. Uh, you can go with the Bama Craw laminate, the blazing Bama Craw, as I like to call it, or you can just take the two cups of plastic, mesh them together, and get yourself a two cup batch of the Bama Blaze, which is what I've been calling this, the Bama Blaze Changeable. So two amazing colors out of one recipe this what are we waiting for let's just throw all the colors up on the screen that you're going to need to make this okay so to make the blazing bama crawl first we'll start with the orange you're going to need the lure works blaze orange 110. the recipe calls for 200 drops but to make it easy for you i already did the counting and testing it turns out 200 drops equals one half of a tablespoon exactly so 200 drops or one half tablespoon of the blaze orange will get you going there for the glitter we're going to be going with 0 0.040 black as well as the 0 0.015 fire red and 0 0.015 dark gold moving on to the dark green pumpkin side this is kind of taken again from our recipe from the moon juice so this is going to require us to use the mf dark watermelon along with the mf green pumpkin green then we're going to top that off with two drops of the dead on plastics black to darken that up just a tad for the flake we're going to be using the golden orange glitter in the medium 0 0.040 as well as the kelly green 0.040 medium glitter and we're going to touch it off with a little scoop of the small 0.015 black in that dark green pumpkin side and that's it that is your blazing bama craw recipe or you can smash them together and get bama blaze changeable it's completely up to you first we are going to start with some blazing bama craw because i got to make some flapping drags for joe so hey these ones are for you bud with two fresh cups of plastisol and the first thing that we need to do is add in our blaze orange now remember i mentioned we need 200 drops but luckily that equates to one half of a tablespoon so all we really need to do is get one half of a tablespoon ready and i have found with the blaze orange that it's actually better to add it in before you heat up the plastisol because otherwise if you do it when the plastisol is already hot it tends to clump up on me so very similar to the methylate 
I find it's a lot better to get our half of a tablespoon mixed in prior to heating up the plastisol. So there you go, you can see one half of a tablespoon and in it goes to the plastisol. Now the plastisol is liquid and the pigment does like to stick inside there. So I like to give it a couple stirs to really make sure to get the majority of that pigment off of there. All right, after that is dumped in, we are gonna take our stirring stick here and go ahead and mix that in real good. Get it all nice and stirred up there. And then we're gonna go ahead and start warming it up in our microwave. And this is gonna give us a nice, even blaze orange color in the end. All right, and here we are, all set up to temperature. Now we have that blaze orange completely blended in no clumping, no pigmentation whatsoever on the knife. Absolutely love it. Let's start adding in our flake. So we're gonna start with the black glitter first. And the recipe calls for 1 16th teaspoon. And I like to take just like a nice mega, you know, whopping teaspoon. That's definitely over 1 16th of a teaspoon. So we're just gonna add all that in. I really like the black flake in this color. Next up is going to be the dark gold in the small flake, the 0 .015. Now, this is real important to watch our measurements here. When you get to with this small flake, a little bit goes a long way. So we pretty much want 1 16th of a teaspoon exactly. And so we're just gonna drop that right in there. And now for the fire red small flake, we really only need a half of a sixteenth. So we'll kind of come in here and I'll make sure to knock some down. That's not really a full sixteenth, you know, that's kind of like a half to three quarters of a sixteenth teaspoon. And we can go ahead and drop that in. And as always, when you add flake into your baits, it's to personal taste. This is my recipe and this is just a starting point. So I encourage you all to definitely mess around with the amounts of glitter and make sure you get it to something that suits your needs for the baits you're making and you know, for your customers. But now that we got this all stirred up, it is just a beautiful kind of molted craw color. It looks like that burnt orange, that black flake really darkens it up without having to add any black pigment to it at all. Absolutely fantastic. And now watch what happens when we drop some of this into our sample test mold. When this stuff dries and cures, it's unbelievable. And we're gonna leave that right there. You'll also notice there's hardly any bubbles. One thing I absolutely love about working with the MF plastic is that there's hardly any bubbles whatsoever. This hasn't gone through the vacuum chamber yet. We're gonna put it through anyways because these baits are going out to Joe. I wanna make sure they're perfect. So just out of habit, we're going to do it anyways, but I just wanted to show you that using this MF plastic so far, not a ton of bubbles, really, really enjoying it. So we're still at the temperature. Let's get this inside of the vacuum chamber and then we could start to work on our dark green pumpkin. Check that out, huh? Bet you weren't expecting that. Beautiful translucent neon orange. Just glows around the edges. A phenomenal sunburst effect right there towards the tip absolutely incredible I love this color blaze orange all right and here we are with a fresh cup of plastisol ready to go for our dark green pumpkin green let's get you down close in here so to start this off Dark watermelon, that is our first color, 40 drops. All right, let's get that stirred in there. And that dark watermelon has that beautiful brown hue to it, along with that watermelon green. Fantastic color, definitely recommend getting your hands on the dark watermelon while it's still available. Next up, green pumpkin green calls for 20 drops. All right. 
There we go. We're going to mix that green pumpkin green in there. And this is going to give us much more of a green hue, pulling it away from that brown just a little bit. But you can see that is a dark green, thick, but yet translucent green pumpkin. I love it. And we're going to go darker even more. Two drops of Dead On Plastics Black. One, two. That's it, you gotta be quick. You gotta be quick with that dead on. All right, and there we go. And this is going to darken it up for us. Perfect, we need to stir that in just a little bit more. I still saw a little bit of streaking there on the knife. Make sure we get our edges. When we do the stirring, we want to make sure all the plastisol is nice and mixed and melted as we're blending our colors. That's very important. Next, it's time to add some glitter. So let's start with the green medium flake. Now again, we don't want to overdo it with the glitter. So we're gonna be doing 1 16th teaspoon of the green, as well as 1 16th teaspoon of the golden orange. Now, both of these are the medium size 0 .040 flake. And then to add some texture, we're going to be doing 1 full 16th teaspoon of the small 0.015 black and that's going to give it just that little bit of texture that it needs and then we'll get this all stirred in and you can see that it's a nice blend of glitter it's not too much especially with these bright colors like the green and the orange you can get too much pretty quickly so I like to keep it small just a sixteenth of each and a sixteenth of that black for that small texture in there and this is going to pair up nicely when this gets blended and laminated with that blaze orange alright let's pull that out of the vacuum chamber and put this in and then let's get ready to do some laminates alright and there you go that's what the two laminates are going to look like you got your dark green pumpkin there, along with the blaze orange in that molted craw colorway there. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Beautiful laminate color. Gorgeous stuff. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, let's take a look here. We're about 340 or so over here on the green pumpkin. And we are about 340 or so over here. I think we are good to go. Let's get these all prepped and ready for injection. I cannot wait. And remember, don't forget the glove up. Blazing Bamacraw in the four inch flapping jacks and the five inch flapping jacks all right we got a full pull let's go there we go nice smooth injection that's what we like to feel make sure to top that off let's get over into the five inch nice and smooth constant pressure awesome all right I want to make sure to scrape off that mold there so we can make sure to get some fresh plastisol down in there. Perfect. Check out that color as it comes off of the injector. Isn't that cool? That's such a cool color. I just love it. That green pumpkin's not looking too shabby either. Really digging that as well. All right, you know we got to check out the blending block. Look at that, huh? There we go. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. See, straight on like that in that laminate, that orange is going to get toned down with that green behind it. But from the side, it really pops, and it is going to capture a ton of light. All right, first up we have is the 4-inch Flappin' Drax. I love the sprue on it. That neon orange just meshes really, really well with that green. What side is it going to come off on? On that side. There's the orange side. Good look at that there, huh? 
beautiful, beautiful orange. And then check this out. If we did our job correctly, oh yes, 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 yes. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is a beautiful dark green pumpkin over top of a nice neon orange that's just going to catch a ton of sunlight. I think it's a beautiful rendition of the Bama Craw colorway. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Are you a fan of this? I, I mean, I think it matches up beautifully. I mean, there it is with the jig. We can flip it over. There's the back side of the jig. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful compliment. I think it looks extremely well in the jig itself. And I think these baits also look absolutely fantastic. And there we go, the blazing Bamacraw laminate. Fantastic colorway, looks awesome. I mean, look at that, just, I love it. I love it. Again, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? All right, let's take a look at the five inch flapping drax now. A little bit of a thicker body profile than the four inch. So some of the orange will definitely be a little bit more pronounced which I don't mind whatsoever. Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Epic bait molds just laminate fantastically. Flapping Drax took that dual laminate like a champion. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, well, let's get one more run of these so we have a full set for Joe, and then we're gonna show you something magical that happens when we melt all of these sprue colors together. Okay, so we've got everything reset and cleaned up now, and you can see we basically have three batches worth of sprues all chopped up here. We have it in the large four cup container, and we're gonna take all of these sprues and we're gonna melt them down together, and this is gonna give us that incredible Bama Blaze Changeable. Somehow this green and the orange mesh together to make just an amazing changeable color. I can't wait to show you. Let's get this in the microwave and melt it down. All right. Here we are, fresh out of the microwave, fresh out of the vacuum chamber as well, right around that 350, 360 mark, fantastic. You can see with the changeable here, it's green, but when we pull the stick out, it's orange. See that? When it gets thick, it's green. When it's thin, it's going to have that nice neon orange color. Absolutely fantastic changeable. I'm telling you, I can't wait for y'all to see these in the sunlight. So let's get this stuff injected. We are ready to go. Plastisol is hot. Molds are ready. All clamped up. Temperatures we already know are good. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. Big Mondo 10 ounce injector. Can we get the entire lot? Let's take a look. Just gonna start right down the line here. Ooh, just barely. And there's what it looks like on the tip of the injector. Definitely orange in the thin part and green in the thick. Awesome stuff. All right, first let's start off with the Epic Darter. We poured these with the hook slot delete, so this way we get a solid darter. This is gonna make for a fantastic chatterbait trailer, and take a look at that. Beautiful, you can definitely see the orange down here in the skinny parts of the bait, and it gets green as it gets thicker. Here it is, the molds really show it off well green in the thick parts, orange here in the parts where it's skinnier. 
really cool colors. Really makes for a beautiful sunfish color, you know? Just that green and orange. You could probably add some blue sparkle in there to taste. Give it that full bluegill panfish effect. But yeah, really liking it so far. Okay, next up, let's take a look at the 6.2 inch lizard mold. Again, you can see on the sprue here, you got the green where it's thick and the orange in the thin part. Absolutely love it. Let's take a look at the lizards. Oh yeah. There we go, looking good. Now, both of these baits are a little bit on the thinner side, so we're getting a little bit of green here in the bodies, but not a whole lot at the moment. Lizards, looking awesome. Epic Tapworm, another small skinny bait, but really tends to show off color changeables well in the light. Look at that, absolutely wonderful. Looking good. Looking good. When light passes through every single one of those bubbles, we're going to get a big, bright orange glow with that green reflectivity. Absolutely love it. If you get in close, you can already start to see that orange glow reflecting off of the aluminum mold there. I'm telling you, this color captures light and just glows. Fantastic. All right, and lastly, let's take a look at what our four inch slick swims look like. Oh, and that gives you a really good idea there too. The thick green in the body, the orange in the tail as it gets skinny. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Orange tail, thick green body. Fantastic, I'm telling you. These changeable colors, don't underestimate them. Good stuff. Awesome, a great match up here to the jig. Now, if you're still watching the video right now, I just wanna give you a huge thank you. And you know, part of the reason it's taken so long to get this next video out, well, that's because of this jig right here. It's just not jig season here around the Delta and it's taken me better part of a month to fish this video. Believe it or not, this is actually the eighth jig that I'm on. I ripped through the first two, broke those off, Joe whipped up a whole nother batch for me. And as you can see, there's only two jigs left in there. Plus this one, that leaves three. You know, that's the problem with the California Delta. It doesn't matter what time of year it is, the fish are gonna eat what the fish are gonna eat. Jig bite's just not on. And uh, I tell you, it's also really killed my confidence in the jig because I seem to have forgotten how to fish a jig. I keep breaking them off, frustrating. But you know, that, that's fishing, right? Not every day we're gonna catch a good one. So. This jig is awesome. I hope you all enjoy this recipe. It's a great recipe. I've had great success on the chatterbait trailers using the Epic Dart. I've had great success using it with the four inch slick swim. I've had great success with it in the whip wad. I've got lots of videos and clips of that stuff kind of sprinkled throughout the channel coming up. And I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. So until next time, you all know who it is. Your friend on this end, Michael out here around these Delta slews, reminding you, to keep on chucking. I'll get back with you.